This week, we kicked things off at the Juju Winery in Marsing, Idaho with Hadley, who was literally born into the wine business. Well, I did grow up in the family business. My parents started Hell's Canyon Winery in the early 80s here in southwest Idaho. And later, my sisters and I started Juju Wine. So we're the second generation um, daughter brand of Hell's Canyon Winery. Where's Juju from? I have to ask you that. What does that mean? Juju is a term of endearment. So anything or one that's your loved one, you can call your Juju. Where and that come we from, are, you know? well, it's French German, okay. but it's spelled phonetically. So you would typically see it like J-O-U. And um, oh. we're our dad's three Juju girls. Oh, so, so that's where the name came we from. Were, yeah. Now you mentioned there's three girls. Is your third sister involved too? Yes. Wow. Yeah, so my oldest sister, Bijou, is our winemaker for Juju Wines. Uh -huh. And then Jocelyn, uh, she does all of our marketing, our graphics. She does the label design. Um, and then I do the events and manage the tasting room here. Now you mentioned uh, that your older sister, you said Bijou, mm -hmm. is that is that somehow connected? The yeah. Juju and mm -hmm. Bijou? Yeah, so we oh. kind of went with her name and transformed it into Juju. Now you said she's the winemaker. Mm -hmm. So that sounds different to me because a lot, of, a lot of the wineries here in the Sunny Slope region, they have, they'll grow the wines and then there's someone else who actually makes the wines. Do you make them here? We do. We do. So we grow the grapes and um, then we bring them into the winery and we don't do a lot of high-tech winemaking here. Um, we have more of a just watch it and make sure nothing goes wrong. Mm -hmm. And so she does that for Juju. And then my dad um, is the winemaker for Hell's Canyon Wines. And both uh, my dad and my sister Bijou come from my food background. They both okay. went to culinary school. So the wines that we make tend to drink best when served with food. Okay, so yours are intentionally paired, or and not paired, that's the wrong word, they're actually intentionally put together to be paired. Right, wow. therefore we call them food wines. So give me an example, like hey, we're standing in front of your, your Juju line. Yes. Uh, what is an example of a wine a, a, that you'd like to kind of showcase and like what would you put with it? Okay, that's a good question. So a really popular wine in the summertime is our Juju Redhead. This is a 100% rosé of Syrah. Okay. And we always tell people this is a great wine to have with eth ethnic foods. So pad thai, Indian food, Mexican food, anything that's kind of spicy. I was gonna say something that's strong and flavorful, yeah. something like with very spicy, okay? Right, so that's a little harder to pair a red with or a white because the flavors are so variable and diverse. Mm -hmm. So we say a rosé is a great approach to a food that is hard to pair wine with. What would you put with steak? What's one of your wines you would pair with? Is that harder? We usually do a robust red, and we have one that's made of Cabernet Sauvignon, Cabernet Franc, and Merlot, so probably our claret, our Juju claret. And then Hell's Canyon, we're going to go over here and take a look at this too. Hell's Canyon is your mom and dad's brand. Yes. Uh, what do we have here? What are your. Here we have a single varietal Cabernet Sauvignon, and we have our um, Western Conservation Series. We call it Deer Slayer Syrah. And this is a family photograph of my great-grandfather in the 30s. Oh, wow. And the photograph is called Bringing Home the Bacon because he has two deer on the front of his car. And then we have one of our <clears throat> signature wines here, our Retriever Red. And this is a Syrah-based blend. <clears throat> and we have our new Heritage Series Cabernet Franc. And this is also a single varietal. So Hell's Canyon does more single varietals, very good aging what wines. What is single varietal? That means it's made with one grape, it's not a blend. Every tasting room is different. And who, first off, who put your tasting room together? Was it a cooperative thing? Did you do it? Who was responsible for designing it and laying it out and all that? Well, we had the space. This is actually the house I grew up in. Mm -hmm. And then it really? was remodeled into a bed and breakfast okay. in the early 2000s. And now we run it strictly as our wine bar tasting room. So my sister Jocelyn and my mom designed the space to really accommodate the public and have a retail shop and also a tasting space. And we have indoor outdoor areas. So really the bar was put together based on the foundation of what we had already. I just, I'm always overwhelmed how much goes into a bottle of wine. Yeah, I think that's why wine tells such a story and it's also such a big experience for people because where they drink it, who they drink it with, if they know anything about the history of the, where the wine came from, I mean, it's such a process that goes into making each unique bottle. And particularly when you're talking about a smaller scale operation where we're growing the grapes and making the wine and making all the decisions. And uh, it's not to say that every one is gonna be just what we want, but that's kind of the fun of it too. They take on a character of their own. 
Thank you, Hadley, so yeah, much for your so time. thank you so much for being so here. great to be here. Thank you for sharing uh, Hell's Canyon and Juju Wines. Uh, if you want to know more about either of these wine varieties and uh, Hadley and her family and what they're all about, visit lovewhereyoulivetv.com.